Fnatic has qualified for three quarters of the ECS finals. However, this is the first time they have done so as the number one seed. How were the team approaching the finals in Cancun, and did they approach the ECS season differently? We approach like the Cancun finals like as we approach every game, as uh, because we are a new team, we always try to get better. And I think uh, our gameplay has been really good online, and uh, I think it's important for us to like transfer it to the LAN events or several LAN events coming up. Uh, I think that's the most focus for us is like to have the mentality to play the same CS on LAN that we do online. Is the result something you expected after the recent roster changes? You can never expect to like uh, performing that good after a recent roster change, but everything like felt really, really natural when we took in Golden, and it's like been re going really good since then, and we've been improving like each week. Uh, so, like, I didn't expect it, but after a while, like, we felt that we could do, do good damage against good teams, so, yeah. Golden's one of the only players on a top roster to come from an academy team. Do you think the academy team system works as a for growing new talent? Uh, I think it's kind of hard because academy teams is uh, quite new, and I think it would be good in the future. Especially if, like, uh, as we've seen players like uh, getting sick or injured and stuff like that, if we have like a good academy team, they can like take up a player and let them play a few games to get the experience they need to to go on. So I think in the future it might be like more common, but uh, not in the near future. What are the players' view on non-crowd events focused primarily on player comfort and enjoyment in comparison to regular stadium slash arena events? Uh, I think uh, like a good finals also ni always nice with uh, like a big crowd and a better atmosphere. But it's, so it can be nice too because like uh, for us that had like two or like one really new player to this uh, scene and like one that has played like for one year, it can be good for us to have like a good uh, transfer from the online. Uh, uh, matches to LAN, so for us I think it can be really good and it's also nice that it's like in a really nice place so I think that can be, make a more like comfortable surrounding for us. With the rise in multinationality teams, is this something Fnatic considered during the recent roster changes? Uh, we didn't uh, think about maybe go international, maybe like uh, see like other Scandinavian countries so that can understand Swedish. We looked into that, uh, but not uh, going full English. And uh, I think it's going to be more common in the future. Like we see, like a lot of new teams going international because, like, there's a lot of good players in smaller countries that doesn't have a big scene. So, in the future, I think it's going to be a lot more international teams. Which player on the team do we have to be watch out for at the all-inclusive bar in Cancun? Oh. <laughs> That's a hard one. I think uh, probably me, maybe I don't know. But uh, I think uh, the guys in my team is not. They don't like super party guys. They not like go out and party that much. The one I could think of is like maybe Crims. That would be it if I had shoes. Nice. Um, so the only other last thing is if you have any shout outs or goodbyes you need to do. Uh. Yeah, I want to shout out for to all our friends uh, that support us and uh, also to our sponsors. Uh, but also like keep your rooting for us and uh, give us the support we need to transfer our online uh, playing to the LAN events. And yeah.